Step 3. Solar Design By the end of this step, you will have accurately designed the PV system with the most optimal layout according to your homeowner's needs. Let's start the solar design by running the shading wizard. Here, SolarGraph uses a local weather file to simulate the sun passing over the roof. It assesses shading for every hour of the year, generating solar access values, known as SAV, and the tilt and orientation factor, known as TOF. Solar access expresses the percentage of sunlight hitting a specific part of the roof, considering the impact of obstructions, neighboring facets. The TOF expresses how optimal the roof facet is compared to ideal conditions, considering both its azimuth and pitch. Hover over the roof to inspect this data for each pixel. Multiplying the SAV and TOF gives us the total solar resource fraction, known as TSRF. This value best describes any area of the roof's suitability for solar production. These values are annualized and displayed in the heat map. Bright colors indicate higher TSRF, while darker shades denote lower TSRF. SolarGraph now has certifications from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, or NREL, and the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, or NYSERDA, validating the accuracy of its shading engine. After calculating shading, the next consideration is setbacks, depicted on the 3D model as gray areas near each roof edge or obstruction. These are automatically applied based on a database of local regulations. The database currently stores setbacks for over 14,000 AHJs and is monitored daily for updates. You can also select any roof edge to adjust the setbacks on either of its sides. Now, with our shading and setbacks in place, it's time to start placing modules. Use the Add Panel tool to select the facet, module, and inverter. Next, confirm the desired orientation of the modules, portrait or landscape. Placing modules can be done through the automatic method, which populates the selected facet with as many modules as possible with one click. The manual method allows you to populate an area within the selected facet using a click and drag motion. The single method allows you to place panels individually. Alternatively, there is the Smart Designer option. This feature automates panel placement based on specific criteria, be that max fit, bill optimized panel placement, or consumption offset panel placement. For instance, if you aim to maximize bill offsets for the homeowner, select this use case. Set the target bill offset percentage and choose the modules and inverter. In our case, let's go for an 85% bill offset using Hanwha QCell modules and Enphase IQ8 inverters. SolarGraph will automatically generate the optimal solar layout to achieve the desired offset. You can use the Select tool to reposition modules or delete them. Use the Add Panel tool to add any additional modules. Select the Calculate button to simulate the estimated annual production as per the latest solar layout. The production box seen here will show the utility bill offset, the consumption offset, and first year production of the solar system.